Hello everyone, it's Yvonne back to do your bonus read. We're going to use the Gilded Tarot for your reading. Yesterday I felt a lot of spiritual support around people at the moment. I feel that a lot of you are going through a lot of deep healing. Um, there seems to be a lot of energy out there in the universe from your spirit guides or the people who are watching over you. Very strong energies here. So a lot of protection, I want to say. That would make sense with the moon cycles being the way they are. Don't forget to call on your spirit help too. I feel like sometimes we don't we don't use the energies as much as we need to. We do need a lot of protection as empaths. The three of swords trying to jump out at me there. Um, but understand your empath energy. Because sometimes we don't realise how much we absorb of other people. And then we start getting body pain and we start getting sick. And we're like, where is that coming from? And it's because you've absorbed everybody else's angst. Call upon your spirit help to protect you when you're out amongst people. Or you're around people who may attach to your energy. You may not realise they're attaching to your energy because they're using you to feel better about themselves. So they use your energy to do their healing and then they leave you with their energy. It's like this exchange. And for many years, and I remember in the Celestine prophecy centuries ago when I read it, talking about emotional vampirism. Three of Swords and the Magician jumping out. So you're going through a lot of healing at the moment. I feel like the planet is healing in general. But I feel like for people who are really tuned into the spiritual realm, you're going through some heavy duty healing. All right, let's get into this reading. I feel sometimes like you can feel yourself healing. You can, you know, I always say that to me, there is conscious healing and there's unconscious healing. So when you're conscious healing, you are aware of what you're doing. You may be doing meditations, you may be doing tapping EFT, you may be researching certain things. All of those things add to your healing. Even your, I was going to say magnesium baths, I'm not quite sure why magnesium, but there's those sort of energies, those sort of things you're doing to heal. You may be having reikis, you may be having oh, massages. <laughs> um, and they all help to heal you. But there's a certain amount of healing we're doing unconsciously. Healing that happens when we realize something and our subconscious sort of latches onto it and puts us on a healing path. But we may not be consciously aware of that, but we may decide, say, for example, to change our diet or to go into an exercise plan or whatever else. And that's your unconscious healing. Taking time out, being reminded to have a day out, deciding one day to just stay in bed for the day and watch movies. That's all unconscious healing. All right, so let's get into this. Page of Cups coming through. You have a love offer coming in here, possibly from a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Somebody is really feeling uh, a lot of emotion for you here. Now, I know we associate the King of Cups with Cancer Pisces Scorpio, but any sign can be in this energy. This is the energy of having, I mean, have a look at his, oh, let's have a look at his face. So this is a person who has a really large cup to offer. Um, they, may, they may allude to it through messages or uh, ways of showing you here with the page of cups through messages. But I feel like whoever this person is has great love here. They're feeling a big spark of energy with you here. Okay, so this person is on your path for a reason. And I've just been talking about all the healing stuff. And sometimes people heal us as well. We're so used to healing other people that we forget sometimes people are there to heal us as well. 
um, and again inadvertently, but you know when someone's healing you because all of a sudden you will feel really grounded. You know that person who brings you back down to earth and sets your feet right back on the ground again. You know, you can be really sad, really unhappy, but that person who just says the right thing at the right time, that's all healing. Um, the star card says to me that there is something about somebody who's coming into your life here now who is there to heal something for you. Um, being I get the three of swords and the magician coming out in the pre-shuffle, I feel like this person is healing something about your heart. This person is going to show you love and I feel that you haven't received this before. I feel like this person's going to be very dedicated, really wanting to build something with you with that magician, wanting to manifest something here. Okay, so we have the three of cups coming through with the lovers. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful lineup. I feel like your person has either moved away from a relationship where they were really, I want to say taxed. I want to say this person has moved away from a relationship that might have nearly broken them. I really feel here that this person, you could have someone who's made a choice to come towards you with the lover's card, but I feel like whoever this person is, is going to heal something within you here. Not that someone is responsible for doing that. It's not like that. It's like, Something about being with them, being around them, being in their energy is really helping you to, to grow, to bloom, to blossom, to become. And I feel that because you haven't had this pure love before, it's bringing in some sort of aspect of you that you've left behind. It feels very ancestral. Right, so this person has a big responsibility. For some of you, wow, there's the Three of Swords. For some of you, I feel like this person may have left another situation with the Three of Cups there. So you could be dealing with someone who's coming towards you who has left a, a, another situation behind. There's the Moon there. But there's healing to be done in this situation together. Wow, so the Moon card tells me that it's like you haven't seen the potential at the moment. It may raise a lot of emotion for you here. The potential of this situation is nothing that you could have seen coming. Oh, wow. There's that knight. So we have the page, the knight, and the king of cups, and then the queen of wands. Look at this person rushing in to give this person a cup. Wow, that's beautiful. I want to go through that again. Let's do it again. Let's watch it again. Um, okay. There is somebody coming in that's getting in touch with you here that wants to bring you a love offer. This person may be a water sign, but I feel like this person is really, really deeply invested in you here. This person wants to give you love. There's a lot of healing in this situation, but I also feel that this situation is fated. Your person could have made a choice to walk away from another situation here. But I feel like this situation here, when I go into this energy, has almost brought them to their knees. Like it has brought them right down to the ground. So this person may still be doing a lot of healing themselves, but I feel like they've made a choice here to come towards you. I feel that they're still in this healing here. I don't think they're coming to you for healing. I think they want to heal themselves. But I feel that there is some sort of indication or some sort of information they're giving you here to tell you where they've come from. There's a lot of wounding here. So I feel like something is being, being told to you here. But I feel this person is expressing what they've come from and the pain they've been through. But I also feel that they're telling you here how you've kept them going, how being, oh my goodness, I want to cry. Um, how you were the person that kept them going through this situation. No matter how much pain they've been through, you are what they want at the end of the day. They want to have this is action being taken then. I feel like your person may be tentatively offering you something here. 
but I feel like this is the real deal being offered. But this person has healing to do first. So it's like they can't complete the journey until they've healed themselves, but they want to share with you that you are the person that's got them to where they are. So we have the walking away from a situation that no longer serves you. The Eight of Cups is very much the energy of leaving something behind because it is not emotionally satisfying. This person leaves eight cups behind to look for two cups in, in a love relationship, maybe even one cup to bring them to the nine of cups, which means they're looking for self-love. And maybe this person is looking for the nine and the ten of cups, the self-love leading to something fulfilling with the ten of cups. But this person is on a, on a mission here. Look at my crystals. I've done a bit of a I've done a bit of a uh, a change of views, and you can see that I have the crystals laid out now. Okay, so we have the three of pen no the two of pentacles. Wow. Okay, with the queen of swords. Ouch. That queen of swords bites. All right. Someone has made a choice to leave somebody behind, and this queen of swords is jumping out at me here. This person did not want to. Be with this person anymore there was still some sort of offer made by this person but i feel like this person was a difficult person i feel like your person's done some sort of head over heart decision to walk away from something this could be you remember because we flip flop with these readings you could have made a decision to move away from something that was no longer emotionally fulfilling this is about using your head over your heart but I feel like when I put this Queen of Swords out, I felt really like, wow, this was really a very negative energy that came through with this card today. Very, very negative. I don't feel that your person wants to be invested anymore. And again, this could be you walking away from somebody here. And I want to say this person is very cutting, very cold, um, possibly quite narcissistic here very sort of spiteful energy i want to say somebody's left something behind we have the victory card that's always good to see right with the ten of cups there it is this person's found their two of cups in the empress so whoever this is coming towards you here sees you as the one without any doubt all right they've been manifesting something here They've been keeping a little eye on the situation to see how it's going. And here they are. This person looks like they've been through some sort of divorce here. Divorce, possibly, maybe separation. But for me, those two energies are about divorce. This person has been manifesting, but they've been keeping an eye on the situation in the meantime. This person sees you as their person with the Empress. They want the Ten of Cups and they're ready to walk to find it. This is a person seeking victory here. They've made some sort of head over heart decision to leave someone behind, possibly divorce. They are not accepting their cup anymore. So somebody's on their way. Very straightforward reading. This person will be in touch with you here with the page of cups. This person is feeling a great deal of love for you here. They know what they want and they're going after it. Starcard tells me that there's been a lot of healing in this situation. This person may have left somebody else behind and made a choice to come towards you. They are still broken hearted over what's happened in the past. They're still carrying a lot of pain here. Um, and still with this moon card, there seems to be a release of emotions coming here. Possibly with both of you, but I feel like this person is still working with this emotional stuff i just feel they want to let you in to some sort of energy here their secret may be that you've kept them going the whole time they may not have even had contact with you but they may have been communicating with you on the telepathic realm here i feel like somehow or another you've been you've been the thing that's kept this person going you've been the energy that's drawn them to you Whoever this person is now, they are ready to express their love. They are ready to talk about the pain they've been through and the journey they've been on. But you here with the Empress card, you've kept them going the whole time. All right, we have the High Priestess on the Empress card. 
the king of pentacles and the page of wands i feel like you already have some sort of commitment in the 5d with this person and they understand completely this connection with the high priestess they know exactly what it meant and where they were going they are completely open to spirit here this person wants to talk i feel like the message is coming very very soon too i don't think this person wants to hold back any longer I feel with this energy I've got here that this person is really anxious to tell you this secret that they've been keeping for such a long time. We have the Justice card coming out with the Five of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. Wow. And the Four of Wands. This person wants to offer you something long term. I feel they're going to tell you here about the journey they've been on i feel that they're expressing to you how they understand the connection here but i feel really strongly here that they feel very um they have felt many many times like they wanted to make contact they wanted to open up to you but they've stayed in this energy i feel like there may have been some protection here but i feel like this person's been going through a pretty tough separation as well but there's communication coming this person knows the connection they have with you they've they're tuning in spiritually here they're fully on the path here all right let's pull you an oracle card and there it is status quo well know that i've read that card before i'll know when i start reading it something to do with cycles something to do with closing out some sort of cycle here do you think it might be right at the end of this book yeah <laughs> status quo right at the end staying the same this cycle card shows a street where everything is the same. Unfortunately, we've gone really bright now, so I go from one extreme to the other on this iPad. Um, this card indicates a period of little change for you. It's advisable at this time to maintain the present energy regarding such as in endeavors as work, relationships, or location. There is value in allowing the momentum of your life to continue on its present path. Don't give up your healing. Don't let go of anything at the moment. Stay really focused on becoming. Although the, I'll show you something. Where is it? Do I still have it here? Hmm, maybe I don't. I opened up a little, um, a little saying that somebody gave me. And it, in it, it had, you are becoming. And I thought that was really beautiful. Although the outer energy remains steady, don't lose sight of the inner work that can be percolating under the surface. The regularities of this time actually allow you to bring more balance into your thoughts and behaviours. Now is a great time to meditate, read and socialise with people of like mind. Let yourself focus on these activities and make them a priority now. If status quo turns up at a time when you're actually going through some significant change, it's telling you to engage in the personal activities that will help you maintain as much inner balance as possible. Remember, the center of your status quo is always your divine nature. Okay, so what many of you have been told is you probably can feel this energy. You can probably feel something being unraveled here. You can probably feel the person's energy in your energy field. I guess the most important thing is don't focus on that energy, don't focus on this person, uh, still keep working on yourself, still keep doing the good work you're doing and stay fast to what, what you know is the right thing to do. I feel that you have to be really in balance here. So just focus on the temperance energy. Things will unravel in their own time here. All right, I will leave you with that. Thank you.